So the four main measures of central tendency are mean, median, mode, and range. When you hear the word average, that's talking about the mean. You add up the numbers and divide by however many numbers you had. The median is the middle number. You need to order your numbers and then find the one in the middle. Now if there's two numbers in the middle, you're just going to find the mean of the two of them. So you add those two numbers up and divide it by two and that's your median. The mode is the number that occurs the most often and the range is the biggest number minus the smallest number. So we're going to find the mean, median, mode, and range of this set of data. So for mean, we're going to add up the numbers. 4 plus 11 gives you 15, plus 2 is 17, plus 5 is 22, plus 6 is 28, plus 4 is 32, plus 3 is 35. So the sum was 35, and we're going to divide by however many numbers we had, which was 7, which means the mean is 5. For median, we're going to put our numbers in order. So our smallest number is 2, then 3, then two fours, then a five, a six, and eleven. A lot of people like to cross numbers off. So you start on one side, you cross off a number on the other one. You keep going, crossing off the same amount on each side, and then you get your number in the middle, which is your median. The mode is the number that occurs the most often. Well, the number 4 occurs twice, while everything else only appears once, which means that 4 is our mode. And the range is the biggest number minus the smallest number, so that would be 11 minus 2, which gives you 9. Now often, you'll be given a set of data, you'll be told what the average is, and then you'll have to find a missing part of the data. So for example, it says Dan has received test grades of 90, 80, 65, and 95. What grade does he have to get on his fifth test to ensure his test average is an 85? So you need to figure out the goal amount of points that Dan needs to get. Well, if the average is 85, then we can say let's take the 85 and multiply it by the five tests. 5 times 5 is 25, 8 times 5 is 40, plus 2 is 42. So all together, his test grades need to add up to 425. Well, let's figure out what he has so far. We're going to add up the ones that we are given. It gives us 10, that's 18, plus 6 is 24, plus 9 is 33. So, so far he has 330 points. He needs 425, he has 330. We're going to subtract to figure out how many he needs on that last test. We get 5, we borrow. So Dan needs to get a 95 on his fifth test to make sure his test average is an 85. Now we're going to find the average number of siblings based on the frequency counts provided in the table. Now it's often good to take the data and write it out so we can see it a little bit better. So 0 occurs once, 1 occurs 4 times, 2 occurs twice, 3 occurs twice, and 4 occurs once. The average means we're going to add them up and divide by 10 because there's 10 numbers. Right here is 4 plus another 4 is 8 plus 6 is 14, plus 4 is 18. So the sum is 18. We're going to divide that by 10, and the average is 1.8.